Narrobinian and Scotland kicked off their autumn test campaign with a win against Japan at Murrayfield on Saturday. Stuart Cameron reports on that game as well as taking a look at the local Borders rugby over the weekend. The state of the pitch was the big talking point on Saturday, but it didn't stop Tommy Seymour scoring his first try in a Scottish jersey. But Japan hit back early in the second half with a magnificent score finished off by Kenki Fukuoka to bring them to within a point of Scotland. Within minutes, boarder Greg Laidlaw darted over for this try to put him over the 200 points mark for his country. But Japan responded again, that man Fukuoka running in for his second try, making it 18-17. But Tommy Seymour was given this pass from Rory Jackson to claim a brace in his first start for Scotland, and from then on, it was one-way traffic. Great handling skills led to Alistair Dickinson scoring under the posts. Sean Maitland offloaded to give Duncan Weir his first try for his country, and this cheeky wee kick from Henry Purgos led to Sean Lamont touching down for Scotland's sixth try, and in the end, a comfortable victory. Overall, you know, we knew that we would make some errors. It was our first game, and it's never absolutely spot on but I felt you know I was happy with a lot of the with a lot of the work and I thought that all of the guys worked very very hard. Locally it was the start of the Border Cup competition and we were at Jedburgh on Friday night to see a bit of a shock. There was no score at the break but Scott Hendry ran in for the first try of the game to give Selkirk the lead. Chris Gillen equalised with this try which was converted by Chris Laidlaw and as we approached stoppage time there were still just two points in it. Then this happened, described by Radio Borders' Stuart McCulloch. Picked up then by Weekly. Weekly to Laidlaw. Laidlaw trying to find the gap out to Robert Hogg. Hogg then makes a break and Robert Hogg is away. He's up to the 22 and Robert Hogg still going through. And Robert Hogg is going to win the match for Jed Forrest. What a run from the Jed skipper. He smashes right up the line and in he goes. An injury time. Well, Robert, that's a big, big victory for Jed. Yeah, the boys are absolutely delighted, Stuart. It's, it's great to come back down to Riverside and play a border team especially a division higher than us and we just wanted to go out and show, show what we're capable of and how we're capable of still playing with the big boys, you know, and we've done it tonight. The boys are, boys are extremely delighted in there. Also in the Border Cup, Melrose beat Hoyk for the second time this season, while Kelso were too strong for Hoyk YM at Mansfield Hoch. Just one game locally in the Premiership where Gala came from behind to beat Stirling County, 18-12. Stuart Cameron, ITV News.